Thank you. It's very pleasant to talk to you. I'm a sinister fellow. <laughs> no, uh, uh, it so happens that, uh, as luck would have it, I've been uh, cast in a number of parts which have, let us say, distinguished me as a sinister person. I suppose it's because the face, it's, uh, my wife describes it as a relief map of Afghanistan. Uh, uh, sort of not the pretty type, I guess. Well, in a career that has lasted about 14 years, I uh, was fortunate or unfortunate enough not to hit what we call the big time until about five years ago. Consequently, I've done about a film a year since that time. Uh, tried to be a little selective and uh, have been very lucky to work with good people in good films. Well, we're here at Shepperton Studios, just outside London, where we finished Stanley Kubrick's Dr. Strangelove, or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb, with Peter Sellers. <laughs> yes, it is. It's a unique film, and one that I think is going to be uh, uh, controversial and provocative. Money means a great deal. Money's a marvelous thing to have. It's a dreadful thing to be without. Uh, it's nice to work and get paid for it, and get paid a lot for it if you can. It's also nice, if you can, to do things that you uh, ordinarily wouldn't have an opportunity to, perhaps to do. Uh, certainly, an example, uh, playing before 2,300 people in Central Park, a live audience, uh, under the stars um, is an interesting and uh, rewarding experience. I think uh, it's a shame that more actors can't have it. I, um, as I say, I think it's going to be one of the talked about pictures, uh, not just of this year, but of many years to come. Yes, I... Uh, just happen to have one on me. Here you are. Uh, Dr. Strangelove, or How I Learned to Stop Wiring and Love the Bomb. Well, uh, no, this is my ordinary accent. I always talk like this, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, the thing is, in Lolita, they weren't really three different parts. They were Claire Quilty impersonating different people. Well, when I play the President of the United States of America, that is this makeup I have on here, I play Dr. Strangelove. He is a German uh, nuclear physicist. And I play a British um, Royal Air Force, do they call it, officer, um, uh, Group Captain Mandrake. Well, what sort of English would you like? I mean, would you like uh, the, the sounds around London or the sounds around the, uh, up north or south or? See, well, well, if you want to talk about London, you've got to start off around here with the old cockney, see? Now, that'll give you a bit of the old grip on that, and it's all down the lock and very nice. Now, so I don't know, they won't understand a word I'm talking about, obviously, on this show. But then uh, from there we go, you see more of a London accent, which is something like that, you know, which is not quite so. And then we, in a quite a different sort of thing, you know, when you go out of the area and you get into more the uh, slightly intellectual approach to life. And then you get slightly more, you know, when you get that type of slightly pimply individuals who have that mode of talking, you know, like that. 
Then, of course, we have the other sorts, you know, who live in right London. And uh, as I told you, uh, another part of London, they talk like that. It's very nice, lovely. You go out of London, you go out of Scotland, there's two types of accents. Well, there's many types of accents in Scotland. One is Glasgow accent and there's an Edinburgh accent, which is much more of this way, you know, in the Edinburgh talk. Uh, oh, you know, and then we have Birmingham accents. Uh, oh, they just... The one that's, I think, nearest to American accent is where they talk down in, uh, in Cornwall and Devonshire, which is much more of a burr, and they talk very much like that. And, you know, it could be, you know, as a, as a radio commentator over here called John Arlott, and I reckon sometimes that you could really, I think, mistake him for one or two of the American commentators, you know. Okay. Yeah, at the um, Princess Theatre in Pocatello, uh, East Finchley. Yeah. They were, they were, yeah. Yes, I started, well, I'm, I mean, I didn't start when I was so young, but I was sort of in the business from a pretty early age, you know. Well, I don't know, you never know how far you'll go, you know. Could all end tomorrow, could all go on. You never know with this business. This was one of the good things about it, because you, you're really not sure all the time. It's yes, it was produced by uh, Stanley Kubrick, uh, with whom I did Lolita and uh, for my very high regard. Yes, as a matter of fact, I have. You can see this one we got here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye.